Due North Audio. Hello, everybody. This is Jeremiah Craig with Due North Audio. I thought I would take a minute to go through the process of making an Instagram video in Premiere Pro since the app allows you to upload videos and it's possible to create some really good looking videos within Premiere Pro to then put on your Instagram account. Now I am working in Premiere Pro CS5 and I know there are some newer versions out there um, but the process should be relatively similar to the process that it is in uh, CS5. Uh, so let's start. First, you want to open a new project within Premiere Pro and name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to name this Instagram video. Then we want to choose digital SLR, and for this I chose DSLR 1080p with 30 frames per second. Um, the frame size here needs to be 640 for Instagram. And everything can stay the same. So once we have our... Um, I'll, I'm going to pull in my video here, which is a campfire stock video that I took. And I'm going to drag it into our uh, timeline sequence. And you can see our square image there. Um, I'm going to scale it down to fit um, nicely. And uh, then I'm going to... Yep, okay, so it looks nice. And then I'm going to trim this down um, because Instagram only allows for videos that are 15 seconds or less. So as you can see this one is 13.22. And now uh, we can export our video. So we export um, media. And we want to make sure our format is QuickTime. Uh, and preset, that can stay the same, um, but our video codec needs to be H.264 and this is where we can change our width and height to 640 the same as our sequence and we also want to make sure that our aspect is square pixels and once we have the video portions right we uh, we go into our audio codec and change it to AAC and also change the sample rate to 44,100 Hertz uh, because that's what's standard and you can leave this stereo or mono I'm gonna go mono for this and now after we have all our settings the way we'd like, um, we can change our output name. And I'm going to name this Instagram vid. And now we're ready to export our video. And once that's done exporting, uh, we're going to be going to Dropbox uh, to put our video up in the cloud. So we're going to upload our new video and I'm going to skip ahead here. And so now you can see our video is uploaded into Dropbox. And uh, now we're set to uh, pull out the phone and do the rest from there. Okay, so we have the phone out. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is go to Dropbox to make sure that the video has been uploaded to the cloud. So it has, in fact, been uploaded. And um, we now click on it, tap on it and we press the share button and then save video and once it's done exporting uh, the video will then be on the phone hard drive itself which will allow us to upload it into Instagram alright so the video has saved to photos um, we're going to go into photos really quick to make sure it has and sure enough there in the camera roll here it is now it would be nice if we could press the share button here to share into Instagram but unfortunately it's not an option so we're going to have to open up the Instagram app itself <clears throat> and once the Instagram app is open we're gonna click on the camera and then the my photos library the photo library and sure enough there it is the first thing that pops up and yep that's what we want to choose so next and we can go through a bunch of different filters uh, to make it more Instagram like um, let's see here here's a black and white one uh, I'm just gonna go with this one next and now we can write in a caption I'm just going to write I'm just going to write uh, campfire 
And I'll put a little exclamation point in there too. And there we go. So then I'll share it. And here it goes. It's sending it. And it'll take a minute because it is a larger video than, uh, than normal. And there it is. And it's working. So that's how you make a video in Adobe Premiere Pro and then upload it into Instagram. Thanks, everybody, for watching.